You know, I tried to get back with them before I went to Janesville. Yeah. I was a sub for three years. And then they said, hey, you want to help the groundskeeper? Yeah. So I was doing groundskeeping and subbing. Mm -hmm. I thought, so I could kick myself. I thought, man, why did you stay before? But they wouldn't hire me. Wrong last day. Well, I have one of my subscribers that made a request for the TDD report. He said, and I'll agree with him too on this, he said, <clears throat> that I'm too negative about um, alien life. About you know, I I done that special with uh, Rob RC62 agreed to be a, an interview, and he uh, watched that, and he said that uh, I'm a little bit too skeptical, which I am. I'm a lot skeptical actually about it. But since I have got three of my friends here, well, yeah, Muzzle Mike just took stepped off. I'm going to ask you guys about your thoughts about alien life, and do you believe actually that they've actually landed on this planet? Or have you actually seen UFOs yourself? Have you ever actually seen anything that you believe in your mind that you could say that it's pretty likely that alien life has actually visited this planet or you've seen something unusual, whatever your story is? So you want to go I've been in the Navy and okay. I've been all over the world and I've never seen anything that resembled life. Or anything that you would, you would consider something that you'd believe came from another planet. But I do subscribe to this theory. If you fill this bucket with sand, mm -hmm. and each grain of sand represents a planet yeah. in the universe, yeah. tell me there's only one of those grains of sand with life on it. Oh, oh yeah. I totally agree with that. Yep. I believe there's all kinds of alien life out there. I just don't believe they've reached our planet yet. But I don't think so either. Yeah. Very okay. little chance. There is that theory that uh, mm -hmm. microbes could have no, I'm, I'm talking strictly, come from Mars and seeded our planet. I'm strictly yeah. saying but I don't think that happened mm -hmm. us or our, uh, our level of intelligence mm -hmm. or somewhat minor. I'm not even going to the microbe biological level for the amoeba. Oh, you're saying the chances out in outer that, space. That any yeah. other alien race of any kind oh, has yeah. visited our planet? I or say there's all kind of different things. Out now, there. visiting yeah. our race, <coughs> I'd have to say probably not. I don't think... Uh, any type of spaceship, any type will. of craft, any type of spaceship, any type of flying saucer, anything. I think it's unlikely myself, but that's a pessimistic view. I'd say it's uh, government, yeah, you know, government experiments, uh, yeah, war craft, different things. We know they've got things we could never imagine. How about you, John? You think there's Most any? Most definitely yes, but they weren't from the planet. Yeah, they were angels. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you that now. If you uh, actually subscribe to that theory, usually I try to stay purely, purely scientific, but yeah, all of a sudden if you get in that realm now, now those are not beings of this earth. A, uh, if you consider that angels exist, yes, they're uh, beings from another planet and they have visited the earth. So that is the, the one thing too. Now, is there different dimensions? Okay, now we're getting into another thing where I can be optimistic about, the multi-universe theory. There may be more than one universe, and you know physics does not have to be the same as our universe, if it's a different universe, faster than light travel may be not only possible, it may not be that difficult to do. Something I contemplate is <coughs> a black hole. Mm -hmm. Is there an opening on the other side to another universe? Okay, that was the other part that uh, Sovereign Soul wanted to discuss too, is about wormholes too. There's three different theories about wormholes. There's the wormholes that are large, but for some reason you can't travel from one universe to the other. Then there's those type of wormholes that you can use to travel in, and there's also miniature wormholes that exist down at very, very tiny distances, like Planck lengths. These are distances that are so tiny that even a proton would be, or an electron would be huge compared to them, and they actually exist, but only for short periods of time. They poof into existence and poof out of existence, just like at the subatomic level, other particles too. They, uh, you'll have two particles, a plus and a minus, or a, um, a particle and antiparticle. They'll exist for a few split seconds and then not exist anymore and annihilate each other. That's I, happening. I know where one wormhole is, definitely. Oh, where is that? And it's run by a gremlin. <laughs> okay. It's Let's the see. dryer. <laughs> the sock gremlin. Okay. Steals one sock. 
sucks it through a wormhole so somebody else can have one in the yeah. ulterior universe. But back to the multi-universe theory too. The um, I have a problem with a, with a wormhole, you know, and a piece of oak or it's, that's when it's really bad. You can take wood putty, <laughs> put over that. And if you sand it down, let it dry real good. You can paint it or lacquer it. Oh, okay. You're always going to but you're ruining somebody there. else's world, somebody that's else's true. universe. Because there's a whole thing on the other side that? of that board. Do you feel guilty about that? Yes, I do. When, when you fell in a wormhole? I always check to make sure it's not giant. And that also covers the plank distance then, because if it's from one side of the board to the other, that would be a plank. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so these people stealing the socks only have one foot. I think they're hoppers. <laughs> See what happens, guys, when the Friday show comes in contact with the TDD report? The science just goes totally out the window. What do you mean out the window? <laughs> this is this is pure, unadulterated science. science. The hee haw. I think we, we've, we've uh, entered the hee haw oh, zone it's of science. Be hee science. Yeah, the hee haw zone of science. See, some people have such closed minds that they refuse to listen to alternative views. Oh, okay. <laughs> One day you'll say. Yeah. You didn't believe the world was round, did you? Now, the TDD report looks to uh, Carl Sagan for um, looks for Carl Sagan as being one of the gurus of science, uh, whereas the for the Friday show, I think they look for Buck Owens as being one of the gurus of science. <laughs> Grandpa Jones. And Grandpa Jones, yeah. Buck got a letter. Rogers, damn it. Get it right. Yeah. Who is the other guy, String Bean? I, I got a letter from, uh, from my cousin. It's right here next to my heart. Heart, 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 you know, and he'd find it in his back pocket. Okay, so anyway, that was, uh, sorry, Sovereign Soul, if that didn't uh, actually uh, totally answer your question, but uh, that's the best what I can do. Question? He wanted to know about wormholes, and he wanted to know about a different view than my pessimistic view of uh, aliens actually um, contacting Earth or contacting human beings. Well, we're all pessimistic on that. Yeah, that one you're pessimistic about, I guess, so we couldn't find any. Uh, we'll, we'll try to find, other than the alternate universe theory, now I will say, um, also, in an alternate universe, wormholes could be wormholes that are able to be traveled through. Um, could be just part of their normal physics too. I mean, just because it's a little more difficult in this universe, and the amount of energies used to create a wormhole might be kind of massive. That doesn't necessarily mean in another universe they would be. So, I guess as far as me for the TDD report, uh, we'll look at the alternate universe theory, which I do believe in. I believe there's more universes than ours too. There may be like a hyperverse. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, sorry, that, that may have been the, the formation. No, that's fine. That may have been the formation of our universe, may have been two other universes colliding that formed the Big Bang and formed our universe. So, yeah, there is nothing saying that physics has to be the same in an alternate universe. And uh, if they have the ability to create a wormhole that could cross into our universe, it might be a rather trivial thing to do. So uh, that's the best I can do for a positive outlook on those two theories as far as what I could come up with. So take care, everybody. That was the TDD report for this week, combined with the Friday show. Thanks Always for catch. Watching. Oh, I gotta remember too. I agreed to do this as a sponsor too. Remember, the Friday show is brought to you by GorillaGlue.com.